It's Hoopla World TV. Today is Tuesday, the 11th of January 2022, and I'm here at God is Able Plaza, I know Nietzsche, here. And um, I just met a young man here. Uh, and um, I'm so impressed with his conversation that I felt I should just uh, record him and uh, let you into a conversation. Uh, sir, um, can we start by your... Can you tell us your name, my name and is David one or two things about yourself? My name is David Christian Gosi Socha. You need to speak up a bit. My and name is David Christian Gosi Socha. Okay. Yeah. okay. So what can you tell us about yourself? What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? What's your business and... Okay, your background. My uncle's shop. Mm. So I'm here, and I'm, you know, trying to put one or two things together in order, in order to help him out. But apart from that, I'm into system programming. You know, trying to update phone and all that. And apart from that, I finished school with some last year. Then I have plans of entering school this year or even next year. That's when you say you finished school last year, what do you mean? I mean you got a PhD or no, no, you're a professor? No, 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 no. So how do you mean? I my secondary school yes. last year. Then I have plans of entering oh. into our institution oh. this year or next year. And I have plans of entering into our institution this year or next year. Okay, now that, that's beautiful. So what are you hoping to study? I hope to study um, astronomy. And apart from that, I would like to go into law. You know, I like to go into um, yeah, those these two courses. I have it in mind. Astronomy, studying, studying astronomy and law together. Because I have dreams of going to the political class in order to show my ability there. You know, if you are not in a political, in a political, I mean, in a, in a particular. In a particular field, you might have the charisma to do well there, but due to you are not there, you won't have that opportunity to showcase that intel in you. So when I go there, I'm sure I'm going to give out my best. You know. So you are you are hoping to study study law yeah. and astronomy yeah, because you intend in future to be a politician yeah. and. Uh, I'm also an astronaut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that's interesting. Maybe like I'm um, going for astronaut profession like uh, for 20 years and then retiring, coming back. Okay, to practice law, to practice, uh, to go into the politics. Go into politics. Into politics. And then maybe from there, I might. Uh, uh, no, that's all for now. That, that's that's interesting. So why would you want to go into politics? I think that um, the word politics doesn't mean that it's left for old men. It's left for I mean young men need it so you know because in the world we live around I mean, around this world now. If I should put it Nigeria. Old men participate in politics. But we practice local politics. Of which that if we are allowed to enter into the higher class of politics itself, we're going to make a difference. Isn't it? <laughs> so you, you intend to make a difference sure. in Nigeria? Even in the world at large. And in the world at large. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So why not go into police direct? Why do you want to go and be an astronaut first and be a lawyer or that? No. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I was um, imagining how would the star look like. Then I had a story that you can move out of this world then seeing another planet. Then I was impressed by that. So from that childhood stage, maybe like uh, nine or 10 years, I was then, and I took it as a decision. 
that I must get out of this world to see other planets, how does it work? And clear my doubt, does it really exist? You know? Sometimes people do claim that it doesn't exist. You get me now? That other planets don't exist. It doesn't exist, that it's just a mythology. Then I took it on myself to say that if I go out seeing it on myself, as in seeing it with my own eyes, I will agree and say yes, it really exists. Not even seeing it, maybe I will, I will try my best to get into one of them. Seeing is believing. Um, Thomas, I you you will actually try to land on a planet. I'm not lying. I'm, as in, I'm just putting it to you. No, I said you're actually intending. You're sure, actually sure, planning sure. someday yeah. to land on a planet other than the Earth. Yeah. You must get there. I, must. I believe you. Sure. <laughs> so where does the law come into it? Okay. At the time when the law came into it was um, early 2017. Early 2017. Because um, if you look at uh, our environment, especially the roads, they are not in good condition at all. They are not. I'm not lying. And then, if you look at um, our immediate environment now, every road is full of cows. I'm sure you're aware of that. Then I start to imagine. If the government of the day were to have my own understanding, they should try to help these youths in order not to engage in cows, in this uh, fraudulent arts, me carrying seed, breaking people's windscreen, and all that. You know? And then also, the roads should be in good condition. Of course, they, they are capable of doing it. You know? And then, I mean, the state budget for the year should be enough in building the roads. Maybe the road is enough because it helps to connect people from the rural area to the urban area. Hope you got me now. And also it will help to minimize the price of foods. I mean food stuff, commodities and all that. Maybe fishes. You have fishing in Canada. But due to that everything is pissed up. I mean everything is turned upside down. And also the roads are the main component of um, vitalizing everything we need now. So I think the road is what we need. Because at the point of building the road, electricity is coming in. I hope you get my point now. Yes. Because if we build the road, amount the poles for the electricity to pass. And then putting on those uh, traffic lights, it will help traffic. I hope you get my point. Yes. And also building the streets in order to make everywhere accessible. You know, sometimes I do feel bad when I'm in traffic, especially this uh, head bridge here. I feel bad because people have where to go. Maybe they budgeted that they, they wish they were, the place they are going, maybe by nine or 10. Then being in traffic for five hours or three, isn't it bad? Bad. It's very bad, but I don't blame them because it, they didn't cost it. And, uh, in a way, I won't blame the state government because um, they too have their own weakness. You know, everybody has own weakness. They too have their own weakness. But it would be better if they should wake up from their slumber. They find their weakness and fix it. <laughs> yeah. I know, Kosi. I, I, I look at you. Uh, please, how old are you? I'm not even up to 70. How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19? Yeah. Now, uh, sitting here looking at you and listening to you, I begin to wonder. Most young people your age are concerned with uh, by how many goals uh, Manchester City beat Chelsea and uh, uh, <laughs> what Arsenal is paying for for one player or the other. Yeah, yeah. And now you are here racking your head about the time it takes for a commuter to cross the Niger Bridge and things here. 
Why? Why, why are you not interested in the things your age mates are interested in? Rather, you, rather you are bothering yourself about these uh, things. You know, when you take people's burden on yourself, you know the kind of pain they feel. But some, I would say that I'm, I'm a kind of, um, because I found some physiological character in me. So, something that pains you, pain me too. I don't know why. Something that hurts you. Me. When you see people hurt, you you you, yeah, you feel, feel their you feel their pain. Yes, I feel their pain. So being at that um, state of um, hurt makes me feel bad. In my life. I'm not socializing and going into maybe supporting a club, trying to as in playing best. It's not part of me. It's not that I, I don't like it to best. It's not part of me. It's not relevant anymore. Really. You don't consider it relevant. No, no, no. You don't consider uh, supporting Chelsea and Arsenal and things. You don't consider it's it not uh, important. It's not relevant. So what is relevant? What is relevant is getting the society, as in maybe like putting the society as a computer and getting it started, trying to move it, trying to push. You know, if Anambra State in particular become like a, in, and become like England. It's not a bad stuff. People will come here to turn now. People will come here for tourism. People will come here for the commercial businesses. Okay, for example now, let's say on the head bridge now. People from Bini, um Sapele, or maybe other states, um come they came here to trade. But this uh on the head bridge, who stuck them for days? Within a, that era of lockdown, people were stuck in the bridge, I'm sure, for at least three days. Three consecutive days. So, it's really bad. It's really you were probably bad. just 17. No, I'm oh. 19, 19. No, you were just probably just 17 at the time of the lockdown. Mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe you were just turning 18 or you were just completing 17. So, I'm wondering, even if you were 18 then, Lockdown is almost two years now. Well, it's almost two years now. Sure. So I'm wondering why you bothered notice those things at that time. Uh, why you notice those things at that time? Well, um, Kosi, apart from bothering your head about uh, traffic gridlocks and people's problems, what else do you do? What do you do for a hobby? How do you relax? What do you find interesting and engaging? Well, I do chat with friends. I do chat with friends on social media, but I don't like um, engaging in naughty conversations. I try to put some um, interesting topics out, but you know, when you are trying to put out the new fashion and add something nice, people don't see it as uh, maybe interesting stuff. Okay, when, when there is that, those negative conversations, you want to, you want to yeah. change the topic yeah, into yeah. something more meaningful. Sure. They are not welcoming. They are not welcomed at all. Maybe they try to shift you aside in yeah. order to engage on those naughty stuff. To, to indulge themselves. Sure. And that. Yeah. But I don't feel bad anyway because it's the trend. Maybe if, you are, if I'm trying to be political, at a certain time, at maybe a certain stage in conversation, people try to cost me up because they are not interested. You know, maybe some some of my friends, few of them, like me for being political and being outspoken. You know, because I try to tell them this is what should be done. This is how it should be done for we to move our society forward. It won't be a crime. Would be in good condition. It will not be a crime if our society is inhabitable. It will not be a crime if our air, normal air, is detoxified. Detoxified, yes. yes. So, they are not bothered about all this. But you are bothered I'm about really it. Bothered about <laughs> Well, uh, friends, I'm here at uh, God is Able Plaza at Onicha, and uh, I'm having this conversation with this young man, Christian Kosi. I don't want to bite off my tongue trying to pronounce that whole name. Kosi, Saw, Chuku. Uh, and um, uh, uh, Kosi, um, 
I came here to fix my phone, and this conversation started because you asked me if I was a journalist. Conversation started because you asked me whether I was a journalist. Why did you ask that question? Because, um, I mean, I'm not wearing a badge, I'm not. Why do you ask that question? From the look of things, from because you, I saw your phone, you showed me your YouTube page, and then I became interested. No, I didn't show you my YouTube page. I was working on my YouTube thing, page. Then, just, then you asked then whether it was my YouTube page, yes. and I said yes. Then I assumed that you must be working with the media. Then I asked you, are you a, are you a politician? They said you're a journalist. Then I came to understand that journalists do. They are normally abused. And, and then you ask the question, what has been my worst uh, experience as a journalist? Why did you ask that question? It was intriguing to me. Why did you ask that question? Because um, I am really sure that journalists are normally abused and sometimes they are killed. And then if I should chip in something now, the young lady DJ Switch that video the the answers protest that took place at Lagos uh, told it. She was wanted for showing up. You are aware of that? I'm aware of that because I follow social media. She was wanted for saying the truth. She was wanted to show up. And at a point the the army staff was saying that the video was um, built up by green screen, of which that I know all those things were just cooked up in order to shut her up. But they were amazed in a way because the video was live. It was not a um, video footage and later it was released. No, it was live on Instagram page. Everybody was watching it. Everybody was liking and everything, commenting. So it was a kind of a touching story to me. You know, when you come out speaking the truth, you'll be haunted. You know, because it's a crime in a way to say the truth. Because if journalists come out trying to put up their stuff, maybe something real about a particular company, about a particular influential human being, about a society, you will be shut off. They will say what they want you to say. They won't want you to say what you see or what you have. They will want you to say what they need you to say. So when you are to favor them. So when you are asking the question, what was my worst experience? You are wondering maybe as a journalist I've been haunted yeah, like uh, I've been handled <laughs> by some people yes. maybe after interviewing like DJ them, Switch. Yes. Yeah, yeah. After mm -hmm. interviewing them, mm -hmm. they might send some guys to Mahandu you try to I mean all sorts of experience. It's not easy being a journalist anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe you know, sometimes People that are supposed to speak the truth um, in terms of journalists, they turn to brown envelope journalists, you know, mm. of which you are aware of what I'm saying. I'm aware of uh, what you're saying. I'm just wondering that you are aware of these things. <laughs> and now let me turn the table on you, Kosi. You are asking what has been my worst experience. And now you are here at a market in Onisha where everybody feels everybody here is about money. You know, that everybody here is illiterate, they don't know, they only think about buying and selling and really one wouldn't expect to find somebody like you in this, uh, in a market situation like this. So you now, as somebody who really does not belong here, but you are here, uh, I want to ask what has been your own experience being here? Well, you have sat among the traders, you walk among them, and what has been your experience? You know, if you didn't dig for the gold, you can't find it. If you didn't dig, if you didn't dig for gold, for the gold you, you cannot find, find it. So people calling people gold digger, it's even nice in a way, because if you didn't dig for the gold, you can't never find it. <laughs> Maybe, you know, sitting with people here, Nice. So you, you feel that when the Onisha traders are called good diggers, you feel it's a compliment? 
they say compliments. They say compliments. Wow. They, they dig for the people. They don't steal. They dig for the people. They don't steal. They work. They work. They out. dig. They work out what they do. They dig for the gold. They dig for the gold. So if it's digging into your pocket, that's on your cup of tea. Yeah. 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 Then my experience here has been nice. It has been rough in it because then sometimes people you don't expect to talk back at you. They try to, you know, being kind of um, abusive. But the kind of person I am, I don't try to talk back because I'm a kind of, um, I'm, I'm melancholy in temperament. So I don't talk much. I try to... Oh, you understand the four temperaments also? Uh, sometimes I told you that I'm, I'm a type of a psychological human being. <laughs> you know, the, way they, the way people behave, I do understand it sometimes. So if they are kind of um, harsh in their own nature, I try to be calm. You know, if you are calm with me, then in my own nature, I'm calm too. Then we can't, you know, we can't Well, well, go see, go see, go see, go see. Uh, I, I, I have fallen for you. If uh, you were a girl and I was a young man, <laughs> I would just uh, fall head over heels in love for you. I'm swept. Um, how do they say it? Off my feet. Yeah. You know, I'm really impressed. I want to let you know that. And uh, uh, I know my friends out there who are seeing this video. What do you think of this young man? Um, I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your comments. You out there watching this video. Listening to our young friend here, go see Christian. Go see Sochuku. Go see Sochuku Christian. David. David. Go see Sochuku. David, go see Sochuku. Okay, okay. Now, so, uh, thank you very much for your time. I would have liked to talk more with you, but actually, I have to catch up with something. But you can be sure I, I, I will keep up with you. I'll keep in touch. I'll come again. I want to look at, uh, consider one or two other issues with you. Uh, would I be welcome? Sure, you are. I'll be welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye. So you out there, you have had this young man. I would like you to reach out to him. Um, I would like to reach out. I want to hear your comments about his ideas and about his vision and about his ambition to be uh, an astronaut and um, a lawyer and to end up... No, not as a lawyer. Not we stand to be correct. Not okay. a lawyer. I may be going into political class, contexting for... Okay, you want to start off as an astronaut? Yeah. And, and after uh, working for 20 years as an astronaut? Maybe 20 years or maybe 10. Thereabouts. And that experience is enough. So... And then going into political... Polit why still a young man? You mentioned yes, that. Yes. You want you, you feel politics should not be left for old people. No, 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 so you want to do no, something. You participate. Yes. You know, because without a young spirit, hot blood, yeah. you try to put things together. You know, being a um, being an old man and being a young man is two different things. Yes. You as an, as an old man, you would think slowly. So you think more of our young people should come into politics? Yes. 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 Maybe some of their, some of their, maybe, let me just put it this way. They have projects for these old people in our city. The young people. Yeah, they have projects. That's why you see all this sort of violence But if they are allowed to step into that office. If the young people yes, will be allowed. They will be allowed. To given their chance. Yes. To just, give it them, just give them a little chance. Yes. Then, even if the seat is very hot, then they will understand that. Well, this seat, this seat is very hot. That's why the old people prefer to sit. Then they may be at that time they have tested it. They can move out. Maybe if it's not hot, then they can chip in what they have. You know that maybe they can if they get inspired. They can but what about our experience of young people in government? Does it give hope? We have had young people, we have had people become governors at the age of 30 and some. We've had presidents who are 27, 30 and things like that. We had ministers, very young ministers. Do you think they have, they, our experience of young people leadership positions justifies confidence uh, that if we were to bring more of them into government, that there will be a change? Actually, if I should put it this way, some young people are doing in a kind of a way, I'm very, very good. 
you know. I'm gonna. I need what Adej says. Now, if I have one more lager, you know, I hope you understand. It. Yes, yes. So if they see an old man eating the food meant for the children, yes. When they grow up, they tend yeah, to. They, they intend to do so. So, in a way that they grow up in the street, in the system. Yeah, in the system. Mm -hmm. And then they try to cohabit. You know, they're not trying to. I get your that. point. I get your point. And also, letting the young people to participate, trying to allow them to decide, as in maybe. Allowing them. Let them come in and let them be given a free hand. Yes, yes. Let them be given a free hand. Yes, yes. And let them come in fresh. Yes, not yes. having been Don't part of a corrupt all. system yes, yes, yes. which taints them, which corrupts them Absolutely. before they have the chance. You want them to come in fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe all this uh, stuff of God for that is in, they should stop it a little bit. Because thank you, thank you, are, thank you. They are one of the things that support the office. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think you have provided a key there. Thank you very much. We will have this conversation again. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.